Hey y'all, welcome back to Christy's Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to make blue cheeseburgers using the Ultimate Burger Press. Before I get started, I just want to thank John for sending me out the Ultimate Burger Press. There's actually two presses, one for doing sliders and one for doing regular size burgers. Anyone who's watched my channel knows that I love to do burgers on my Weber kettle especially. And this is kind of like a, an easy way to make the beer can burgers that everyone loves and I know we love. And also want to thank you for sending out this awesome apron. I love it. The weather here has been so crazy. Thursday it was like 80 degrees. Yesterday it just rained and stormed and flooded everything. Our backyard was flooded. I'll show you a quick little clip of that. And today it's cold. It's like, well, cold to us. It's like 50 degrees and it's drizzly and rainy. I swear my hair has grown at least three sizes since I've came outside here. So I'm sure you're used to seeing my hair a mess because it's just a hot mess every day. But today it's even more of a hot mess. As usual, I'll have all the information in the description box and I'll also show you a video on how to prep everything. As you saw earlier, I like to add barbecue sauce anytime I make hamburgers. You can just season them however you like. It just to me gives it so much more flavor and uh, I do like to add eggs to mine. Again, it's just one of those things I've always done. You can leave all of that out if you like. I weighed each one of these out to be about 8 ounces and I let them sit in the refrigerator for about an hour. It's just one of those types of preps I like to do. It's not necessary. And this just shows you a close up of the box. The, the ultimate burger press comes in and it does have the instructions on the back. It's very easy to use. Here are the two sizes. Of course, this is a slider and this is the regular size for eight ounces. I went ahead and lightly sprayed inside. I just want to put a piece of plastic wrap over it. press it and then you want to kind of flip it over to kind of pack it in there good
just to make sure it's even. Okay, flip it over. can see if you put too much meat in there it'll definitely be a problem so you want to be right at eight ounces or maybe just a little bit under to make it perfect and there you go can't be any easier it's just a quicker way to make uh, what looks like the uh, beer can burgers we love those uh, but you have to take the meat and pack it around the edge of the can. It takes a lot longer and it's a whole lot messier. So I definitely like this better. I know I've read comments where people say you're not supposed to press the meat. It makes the burgers tough. And of course, you know, when you have a well like this, it makes it greasy. Well, over mixing your meat is what makes the burger tough. You pretty much have to press every burger that you eat one way or the other. You're either pressing it with your hands or using a press or even the smash burgers, you're smashing them down flat when you're uh, grilling them. So that has nothing to do with uh, the burger being tough. And as far as grease goes, you want to use like 80-20 for most burgers. If you have a problem with too much grease, which really the fat and grease just equals flavor. If you don't like that, just get you a leaner cut of beef. Here's what it looks like. It definitely made quick work of it. I did see a few comments where people were asking, why would you pay money just to put indention in a burger? Well, this is a, it presses it out for you and it puts the indention. And again, it puts a deeper indention than you would if you were doing it by hand. If you're not a gadget lover, then this is probably not something you'd be interested in anyways. But I myself, I love gadgets. I have several burger presses. I love them all, and but this one right here, it definitely did uh, the job a whole lot faster and a lot less messier. I like to cook my burgers indirect. That way I don't have to turn them. I love to do that, especially doing uh, any type of stuffed burgers. These I'm going to top with blue cheese, so it'll work out just perfect. I normally do my burgers a little bit uh, slower when I do indirect, but uh, we're kind of short on time today, so I got the slow and sear filled up. And this right here has been right at 15 minutes and uh, they're almost ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and top them with some blue cheese. You can already see it's already got that really good smoke uh, color onto them. That's why they're reddish. Of course I put the blue cheese on there, but then I decided to add some more cheese. Because, let's just face it, we love cheese. And I just can't get over the color on these. I hope it shows up. Of course the red is not from the uh, raw meat. It's just where it took on the uh, smoke color and flavor. I put a mixture of Colby and Jack cheese on here. That's just two of our favorites for burgers. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells amazing. The bacon we shrunk up so much that I just went ahead and cut it into four pieces and it's going to take two her hamburger which as you can see right there and I bought the jumbo buns because last time we had burgers the buns were too small this time I think they might be a little too big but that's all right well the burger they filled the bun pretty good we're gonna let Lloyd give it a try okay guys here we are toward the end of April and uh, Christy cooked some fabulous hamburgers the smell alone um, is amazing um, and once again I'm a big man, but it's cold out here. It's cold enough to freeze the balls off a pool table. But I'm going to get heated up with this burger here. I want y'all look at that fine specimen. I mean, look at that spunk ring on that bad boy. And look at that bacon. Man, mm -hmm. they claim smoking will kill you, and they claim eating bacon will kill you. But uh, smoking bacon cures everything in my book. All right, let's get us by this bad boy. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Mm. 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 Well, is it any good? <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was a big old bite. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good, you call the fire department out here. Man, live. I hear. Let me get another swallow of this Colorado Kool Aid. <laughs> 
Oh, I can finally talk now after that big ass bite. But uh, would you ask me? I'm sorry, I got so damn wrapped up in this burger. I was saying, is it good? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's beyond good. I mean, hell, does a damn one-legged duck swim in a circle? Mm. <laughs> Get another bite of this bad boy. Mm. That's a big mouth burger. Guys, you need to try that. That is amazing. It was easy, too. Yeah, I mean, now, it was um, easy once you look at the video. But I was watching Christy work on this thing all morning. Of course, she's all about attention to detail. And uh, I'm here right now. She was busier than a damn one-legged cat trying to cover up shit on a concrete floor. <laughs> so, um, she really put a lot in. Man, I cannot stop eating this thing. <laughs> oh, I'm man. getting jealous. I won't mind. We gotta mm. wrap it up. Woo. It's cold. Mm. And seriously, I want to thank John at the Ultimate Burger Press. Thank you, sir. That's delicious. I'll tell you right now, you've got to get one of those. That is, if you're not a gadget person, and I hate it for you, you need to get one anyway. <laughs> That's the way to make a burger. That thing is just tender and juicy, and it's delicious. And you put that bacon, the big old onion on there, that's all you need. <laughs> that and Colorado Kool-Aid, you're good to go. <laughs> Guys, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.